Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 11, lesson 7, convert customary units of capacity. Page number is 839. Guys, before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel and learn, channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay, first of all, understand the thing. A capacity is the measure of how much a container can hold. Just like length and uh, weight, like the first lesson we took in this chapter about length, it means how long something is, weight, how heavy something is. And now the capacity, like a container can hold how much amount. Like uh, you can consider it as a liquid, like this bottle can hold how much amount of water got it okay for this lesson you have to memorize this table a fluid ounce is like this just a small bottle of nail polish and uh, a cup is like a filter a baby filter one pint is like a small water bottle one quart is uh, like a small uh, bottle of motor oil and one gallon is like this gallon of uh, milk got it now you have to memorize these things basically one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces these are the short forms for cups C for pint PT for quart QT for gallon GAL for fluid ounces F L O Z okay one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces now if you are converting from cups to fluid ounces you will multiply by eight and if you are converting from fluid ounces to cups you guys know that you have to divide by eight now one paint is equal to two cups okay if one cup is eight fluid ounces so two cups 16 fluid ounces so one paint is equal to two cups and 16 fluid ounces one quart is equal to two pence if one pint is two cups two pence four cups and one cup eight fluid ounces so four cups four times eight 32 fluid ounces so one quart is two pence and 32 fluid ounces now one gallon is equal to four quarts and one quart is two pence so four quarts eight pence one pence two cups eight pence 16 cups and one cup eight fluid ounces so 16 cups 16 times eight that is 128 fluid ounces guys uh, they can give you for the conversion directly from pence to cups times two from cups to pence divide two from quarts to pence times two from pence to quarts divide two from gallons to quarts you will times by four from quarts to gallons you will divide by four or we can ask you in this lesson directly from quarts to cups got it so first you have to convert from quarts to pence then from pence to cups okay so let us start today's lesson here Sandra tries to drink nine cups of water each day how many fluid ounces of water now you know that one cup is eight fluid ounces nine cups nine times eight that is 72 fluid ounces let us move to the next page okay here how many quarts can be made by seven pence? We will go back to the same table. You guys have to memorize that. Now, one quart is two pence. They want us to convert from pence to quarts. Got it? So seven pence, so divide by two, seven divide by two, 3.5, three and a half quarts. Here is it. Three quarts and one pint left over, like seven divide two, three and one over two. I told you in the last lesson, we can write it in this way also. Two whole, 
one the remainder always in the numerator this uh, sorry not two whole it's three whole the answer is three three whole the remainder one in the numerator and this divisor always in the denominator so you can write in both ways that three quarts and one pint left over or you can write three and a half quarts okay let us move to the next question guided practice three cups how many fluid ounces three times eight 24 now they're asking you four quarts how many cups so first you have to convert the quarts into pins one quart two pins four times two eight so four quarts eight pins now you will convert the pins into cups so one pint is equal to two cups so eight pins eight times two 16 cups four quarts equal to 16 cups 18 pints how many quarts from pints to quarts one quart is equal to two pints we are converting from a smaller unit to a larger one so we will divide 18 divide 2 9 okay 5 cups how many fluid ounces 5 times 8 40 19 quarts how many gallons and how many quarts now the same thing one gallon how many quarts four quarts you are converting from a smaller one to a larger one you will divide by four because one gallon is equal to four quarts 19 divide by four four times four 16 minus three so the remainder three okay you know the both ways of writing four is a whole number remainder is three so in the numerator and the divisor in the denominator four whole three over four gallons or you can write four gallons and three quarts i hope you guys understand the lesson uh, solve this independent practice by yourself and then match your answers through this video let me show you the answers. See here also they're writing in both ways. Okay, let us move to the next page now. A bucket contain one and a half gallon so how many quarts is it equal to six quarts one gallon four quarts half gallon two quarts four plus two six quarts yes six quarts okay Zach had one quart of milk he used one pint in one quart we have two pints so if he used one pint how much left only one pint left okay to make pancakes and one cup to make scrambled eggs okay so he used one pint one pint left over in one pint we have two cups so he used one cup so how much left over one cup a cow can drink up to 35 gallons of water in a day how many eight ounces glasses could a cow drink in a day 35 gallons of water first you have to convert the gallons into quarts 35 times 4 140 then 140 quarts into pence 140 times 2 that is 280 okay and 280 pence and 280 into cups okay so 8 ounces glasses means cups because one cup is equal to 8 fluid ounces so 280 one pint is equal to two cups 280 times 2, 568 ounce glasses. Which one is the most precise measurement unit? Fluid ounces, of course, the smallest one. I hope you guys understand the lesson. Don't forget to like this video and also send me the homeworks.